Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can, um, let's say, select some specific HTML element on your page based on a click and how you can take the attributes which are within, uh, within the, um, let's say, the element in itself. So, uh, what am I talking about? So, da, da, da. Uh, here you see we have a button, it's named click me, and this button has a special attribute that I created myself, which is called a special tracking equal Matomo. So here, of course, you can imagine any kind of, let's say, data that you would like uh, to have instead of this one, okay? But the idea is, let's say, to explain that it, uh, you don't need to have an ID or to have a class or uh, any common HTML attribute in order to make Matomo Tag Manager react, but you can make it reacting on some uh, custom HTML attribute, such as special tracking equal Matomo. Here we are interested in two things, how to make react this, uh, let's say the trigger based on uh, this special attribute, plus we will be interested in extracting the data named Matomo over here. Um, so, the basic thing. So dealing with the trigger in itself, uh, your trigger is defined like this. If you click on an element, this element match the following CSS selector. And this is where you should not mess up. <coughs> uh, let's say a CSS selector, let's say a custom HTML attribute, you need to put uh, those special characters before and after, okay? So this is the trigger. The trigger is going to react on general uh, HTML element which contain a custom HTML attribute which is special tracking. And then if you would like to pick up the value which is within uh, this, um, uh, let's say, element, what you need is to select the method, so CSS selector, so it's a DOM element of the page. The CSS selector is the following one, and then this part is super important, okay? Uh, if you enter a value, the value of the attributes will be returned instead of the text content of the element. If you don't uh, do this part out, it will push you out uh, the click text of the element. So I'm gonna uh, take this as an example, okay? So I created my variable, DOM element, special tracking, CSS selector, special tracking, and then I have my um, trigger, which is based on any element of the page, which will contain uh, which will contain this information. So I click over here, nothing is happening, and then I click on the button. So it's going to react, okay, um, because it includes the HTML attributes, which is called spatial tracking, but the variable is going to contain the information click me, as you can see over here, because I did not mention the fact. Uh, that I wanted it. So uh, by default, it's going to pick up the click text. And now if I mention this, then I will get uh, the other behavior, which is not going to pick up, not going to pick up the click me, but it's going to pick up instead, uh, as you can see, the DOM element value of Matomo. And that's it. So now you know how you can uh, measure um, click based on a custom HTML attribute with this method, the CSS selector. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.